Mm, what is up, guys? It is your boy, Straight to Pippo, and today we're doing a bit of a hashtag real talk. Um, this is the team I'm going to be using. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be talking about pace and what my opinions on pace. Uh, before I go into the game, I'm just going to have a look at the team of the tournament because I haven't actually seen this yet. Oh, wouldn't I look at one of them in a pack? But it, yeah, I'm, again, I digress. Uh, let's go. Division 2, one, I think there's one more game left. One more game. Need to get a point to win Division two, the Division 2 title. Let's do this. But yeah, I'm going to talk about pace and why I think... I don't think pace, pace is... I don't think pace makes FIFA. And then I'm going to talk a bit about that in this gameplay. But first off, let's see who's in this guy's team. To darkness and the sun yeah, yet. Five stars. So standard BPL team. Nothing too fancy at all. Uh... Well, I don't think this is going to be easy, uh, but it definitely won't be hard. But uh, without further ado, let us get into this commentary. Uh, so is pace everything in FIFA now? I'm not sure if I've already talked about this co this topic, uh, but if I have, YOLO, doesn't matter, I'm doing it again. So um, <clears throat> basically, I don't personally think pace is everything to do with FIFA. Now, uh, my team sort of kind of contradicts that. Uh, I do think pace is important, so just keep that in mind throughout the commentary. But... Uh, I do not think it's a massive factor. As I don't think it's as it's as big as it's meant to be. Um, personally, I think it's all about passing play. So I'm going to talk a bit about that now. Uh, personally, I think passing play is what makes FIFA. Uh, not you know pace. Um, I if you I, honestly, I've had pay teams in FIFA 12, uh, FIFA 13 even that have amazingly good pace, but you know always through. See, Jovetic got no pace there, but he still scored that goal, um, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, personally, I just think it's all about passing play, passing play, build up. You know, just you know, not pace. Uh, you know, pace is a big part. Uh, I'm not denying that. Pace and strength, uh, passing, I think are the three most important things. But it's not as big of a factor as people say it is. You know, I, I, I re like on the wings like here Enrique. Oh, that was amazing. Megs should have been a foul, but didn't call it. Uh, yeah, like on the wings, you definitely need pace. Maybe in the fullbacks, you need a bit of pace. Maybe you know, odd place you do need pace. But honestly, when you're in the middle of the park, Perlo will do does a much does does um does a much much better than job. Oh, that's almost a goal. He does a better job than, I don't know, if I can't think of any face centimetres, than DeMarcos, even though he's a quality centimetre. Uh, I've got him in my uh, Spanish team, my non-rare-ish Spanish team. Uh, yeah, he, he's just an amazing player. Oh, he's just, you know, amazing player. But he's, I'm not going to lie, his touches off. But besides that, he's a good player and, and he's fast, um, you know. But that, um, again, I digress, and he scored a header with Kabul. I don't know, that's Kabul. But, um, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to now talk about why I think pace isn't that important and what I do think is indeed important. Uh, so, obviously, like I said earlier on, passing play is definitely an important factor in FIFA. Um, uh, what's going to take a goal, goal here? Yeah, passing play is a definite must. Um, I do say you, you probably need one. Uh, pacey striker, but you don't. Uh, if you're playing a, a lone man formation like a four-five-one, I'm sure a Lenandowski figure will do well. Uh, you know, you don't need a pacey striker all the time, and that's been proven multiple times on multiple occasions. I still want to try out inform Gary Hooper though. I watched him Celtic play. I just kind of want to try him out, see what he's like, because apparently last year he was a guard. Uh, oh, it's a goal. Oh, that's a foul ref penalty. Yeah, so, yeah, that's definitely a factor. I've also got to say, oh, who's going to take this penalty? I think it's, oh, it's Mikli. Mikli all day long. Bottom left. Okay, top left. Middle left. Um, yeah, so passing plays is a definite must. Um, again, I've got to say momentum is a big uh, one. Uh, I've, I've losing a lot of losing. I've lost to teams that haven't got that much pace. Uh but and I've had amazing squads, so who have had loads of pace. I don't understand pe where people come from saying you know pace is everything, but it's not everything if you can defend. If you can defend, then it's fine. Like I know I have these games where I, I I have slow teams and I still play very well. I have teams where you know I'm not I'm not saying you know like I said you you don't need pace because you definitely do. But he's through. Oh, 
goal. Yeah, I'm just saying pace isn't needed as much, and um, that's where the passing close-up comes into it. But anyway, back to what I was saying um, about the lone man formation. Yeah, it, that pro proves pace isn't needed in the game. For the basic reason, if you can play 4-5-1, blend and Dowski and then pass wingers on the side and you just over the top through walls, over the top through walls, over, 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 then, you, you know, that proves pace isn't everything. Uh, obviously, strength plays a big part in it as well. If you've got a pacey, uh, strong striker, that, that, that just equals OP, to be quite honest. Like, Mikkeli, OP. But it's not OP to the point where people are saying, oh, 90 pace squads. You know, it just annoys me a bit when people say, uh, you're pace everything in FIFA, blah, blah, blah. Bang! Oh, and you know, I just kind of want to prove a point. Uh, players in my team who aren't fast, that's almost the goal. Uh, well, I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty pacey team, just because um, pace helps, and uh, the, the way I play, I do use pace, because pace is obviously like usually used when you go down the wing, uh, and with this team, you are forced to go down the wing quite a lot. Uh, as you can see, Jorge Enrique got quite a lot of balls towards him. Uh, obviously, the slow players in my team include Marco Asensal. He's a slow player, and um, oh shit, uh, yeah, he's a slow player, but still an amazing player in in uh, his own right. You know, he's. 15k I think he costs and his passing is just amazing as he makes a run forward here for a silver his dribbling's not bad either I do use in oh there's a foul yeah I do indeed use skills so I suppose pace isn't really like much to me I, sp I suppose for me it's more about agility a pace and strength but like I said everyone it does like help oh Jovetic certain cases like I said if you go down the wing it, it does like matter but really doesn't matter too much as he's through oh a, what a goal sussing on but that is pace really uh, i think i've kind of talked over the all of the topics i want to talk about i might be ending this real talk series but i'm not sure because what series i'm going to end what series i'm going to keep on my channel i haven't really thought about it yet but i'm going to end it at the half time and then you know we can be on our way uh, the man U game is on today so i'm expecting Real Madrid to teach them at Man U what's happening. Oh, why well, just took that to go to chest? So I'm expecting, so I'm expecting, expecting Man U to Man get more lessons from Real Madrid, Real Madrid because the let's face, let's face it, Man U, Man U are not going to do anything, anything today, you know. As much as there's Man U fanboys out there in my subscribers, uh, they want you to win, you are not doing You're not going to win, you're not going to get a draw. You know, had your children, had your kids, because Ronaldo is going to absolutely do you, mate. As he's through, I need to win this game as well because I think I'm like one point away from Division One again because I got uh, relegated because I just was on a bad streak. A beautiful, oh no, Jovetic, Jovetic. If anyone was in my stream, I might as well mention that as well. Stream links are in the description. I I stream every, uh, I think it's Friday, so make sure you go check that out. Uh, be pretty freaking beast if you go did that. Oh no, he good. He lofted that then, but um, yeah, I stream every Friday at six o'clock GMT time. Uh, I do stream on Saturday sometimes if I feel like it. So make sure you go check that out. You scrip, uh, you know, I've uh, I've heard, I've got many subscribers from streams. So yeah, this is kind of like a stream-based channel, I suppose. But I've heard many good things about him. So you know, go you know, check it out. And I'm sure we have a good time. Uh, as to wrap, oh, come on, get to that. I'm not doing very good at doing live comms. Like, I'm good at the commentary part, but when it comes down to playing the game, I'm just I suffer so much. It's just ridiculous. Like, I'll be winning this game f five 0 now if I was not talking. Uh, but it's just so hard. That's why I kind of have random streaks where I just to go quiet. Like then, that, that was, was going to be a quiet moment where I just kind of stopped myself as I just was talking about it, and that's terrible from Horde, Horde and Rike. That's another reason. Uh, why slower players are better because they usually are better defenders, uh, just just generally. Oh come on! Oh, oh beautiful, Muriel! Oh, that's so close, guys. But it has been your boy, Star Rater Pippo. All the links are in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!